G'day Smoking Dagger fans, today we're doing the full Aussie breakfast. Now you may have heard of the British full breakfast, this is a popular Australian riff on that. Given that we were convicts and we didn't quite get the recipes fully over the pond there, we've had to improvise and create our own version of the signature dish. So let's go through one by one, see what we got. Now in Australia, we've got two main varieties of your typical bacon. We've got the shortcut, which is actually just the top end of the pork for the bacon. And then we've got my personal favorite, the middle bacon. A middle bacon rasher has both the streaky side of traditional American bacon, but also includes this lovely bit of protein at the top. This is gonna give us a more wholesome flavor and really fill us up when we're trying to get our full breakfast worth. What's a full Aussie breakfast without a couple of snaggers? We've gone for a beef sausage here. And because it is Australian beef, we know it's gonna be packed full of flavor, but there will be some additional herbs and some fat in there to make sure that the sausage stays together. Going along to our vegetarian portion of the dish, we have trussed tomatoes. Those are the, you know, the tomato variety with a little bit of iron hanging at the top. These will act as a good amount of acidity to break up some of the more dense proteins on the dish. Now bacon can't be served without a good amount of eggs. So these are just your typical cage-free egg variety that you'll see at the supermarket here in Australia. Nothing fancy, but make sure you go for the extra large, just a little bit more bang for your buck. Staple of Australian pantries, Heinz baked beans. We're gonna throw these in as well, just for a little bit more color in the dish, and who doesn't love the after effect of a good amount of baked beans? Finishing off all of the foods we have in front of us is the dead horse. This, of course, is a tomato red sauce. This is gonna be slathered on top of everything we're cooking here to really bring the dish together in a complete Aussie Bogan fashion. Lastly, when we're getting the skillet on the hot plate there in the barbecue, we're gonna to wanna to put some oil in. We've got Australian olive oil here. This is gonna make sure that the proteins don't stick to the bottom and add a little bit of olive flavor in there as well. All right, guys, that's everything here on the table that we're gonna be cooking on the skillet. So without further ado, let's get the barbecue cranking and see what it's all about. So it's really straightforward when cooking an Aussie breakfast. You want to make sure you've got a nice seasoned skillet. Adding that olive oil we talked about earlier, good amount there. And this is going to heat up nicely, get into a sizzling temperature. So when we're putting things into the cast iron skillet, it's going to be nice and hot. And we're going to make sure that things cook quickly, but not overcooked. That brings us to another end of a successful barbecue adventure. So we've cleaned the plate here with the Australian style full Aussie breakfast. It's just a sort of dish you can do anywhere, right? You can do this camping if you take a cast iron skillet with you over a campfire, do it at home in the weather kettle. Hell, you could even do it inside if that's the benefit and the beauty of the full Aussie breakfast. It brings everything together and it just works. So uh, that's all from us at Smoking Dagger. Have a good one. See you guys. It's been for more YouTube, the more YouTube, the more YouTube, the more you feel.